Welcome back to Let's Play a Nice Guy in uh, Dragon Age Origins. Uh, I think when I'm starting a new episode, I might as well show you the loading screen once I do load up something, because it shows you basically where we're at. We're supposed to go into the Korkari Wilds to obtain some Darkspawn blood and perhaps retrieve some... Uh, scrolls, wasn't it? And at the front we have Edelstan and uh, Davoth scouting, and it's fairly obvious there is some darkspawn over there. Is that another darkspawn though? I'm not entirely we sure. Must of that. Quickly. Oh yeah, it's another darkspawn. All right, hold on a sec. Alright, we're back. I just had to fiddle a bit with the sound, which I guess has been really loud for some time. Yep. That's all dark spawn, that is. So who needs Alistair to sense them when uh, our rogues can basically sneak up on them unnoticed and reconnoiter, scout the area out? Well, We'll probably need Alistair for being able to deal with them though, because it's not like Alistair and Jory are going to be able to actually uh, sneak past them, like my rogues. Not that Edelstan is that keen on sneaking past them anyway. Um, he tends to prefer killing the ancient enemies of his people, although you no matter how non lethally otherwise is. And a Davith, by the way. He does have close combat weapons. So I suppose we might try and get some uh Possible. Might be able to get some backstabs here. If we move these guys over in the sort of woods. Actually. Um, or they might attack the archers. That would also be kind of fun. Try to stop them from. You know. Too much nasty stuff at your command. At distance, of course. Then these guys are probably getting gang up on our rogues. So better get Jory and Alistair into the fray here. Advance. Here come the herlocks. All right. Why not? You go with one each. You try and knock down this guy. And so Jory, you try and. Uh, Let's see. Right, indomitable so it can't be knocked down is always nice. As you wish. And then you can go for that herlock and you try and knock down that herlock. Then meanwhile it'll start and Davoth will try and keep these archers from doing too much ranged damage. And hopefully get in some backstabs while we're at there at it. That seemed to work out nicely. Right, and Yeah, just trying to attack. Let's do uh Sunder Arms, shall we? Oh, Davith doesn't seem to be doing very much. Has he been stunned or something? No, nope. not yet. Ah, oh, this archer's still a nuisance. 
Alright, let's see. Davith's in some trouble fighting both the Archer and uh, the other Genlock, so definitely time for Edelstan to step in. Trying not that Genlock out. There he should be interrupted and Davith should be alright. Let's see Alistair. Yeah, the two of you have got no problems with the Herlocks. Just charge. Hey! Alright, Davith fell to that fool, did he? That's some nuisance. Alright, Alistair, you join in, will you? Now, Davith presumably will come back injured. Yep. Penalty to cunning. That's a shame. Alright, so that's one of our vials of dark spawn blood. And an uncut stone, fine. Um, of course. As I've said before, uh, Edelstone, for all his concepts of honor, helping others, not looting uh, dead. Foeman, none of the, that applies to the Dark Spawn. Um, they are simply not covered by any of them. Oh, would you like to go stealthy as well, Davith? Thank you. What's that? A wild f flower? Right. Oh yeah, that's the quest for the um, Mabari Hound. Excellent. Brilliant. Alright, we're going to have to tell people to hold position again because again, there might be other things in Darkspawn that might yet be hostile and I'd really much prefer for our rogues to scout out the terrain first, see if we can maybe avoid confrontations. Look around a bit in the swamps with the ruins. Ah. Yeah. It's... Oh. Oh. Oops. Yeah, look at that. That's not very nice. Soldiers strung up, obviously. Right. I'm gonna make a save here, even though, uh, unfortunately, Davith's a little bit... Davith's been, been injured, and that's a, a nuisance. Cured with an injury kit or certain high-level spells? We don't have those high-level spells, and we don't have an awful lot of injury kits either right now, I think. Um... Let's have them snoop around this area up here, because there seemed like there was some sort of... Ah, right. More dark spawn. Hey! Oh! Oh, awesome! Dark spawn are fighting wolves. You know, we should be helping... We should be helping the wolves with this, but... Uh... Alright, gen locks, gen locks, gen locks. Oh. Hang on a sec. Getting a phone call. Be right back. Alright, we are back. Um, question is what to do. Where's Alistair and the others? They're way over there. Um, hidden by trees and whatnot. And evidently, I think the dark spot. If I scroll out a little bit. Yeah, they're over there. Uh, trouble is... I don't think we can walk across that thing. So... I got kind of reduced to... Going around... No, that's not getting... They're not going to be able to get up there either. Looks like they're going to have to take the p same path as... Our rogues did actually. Because 
this area looks very steep. I have to go up. Yep. On it. Do we dare to have our two uh, rogues assault the genlocks again? It's tough on them, you know? But you know what? We'll try it. With a bit of luck uh, once our fight is... Move into right. range here. Okay, I'd really like for Alistair to, to join you on that. Yes. Yep, here they go. And this time there aren't that many genlocks either. In fact, this genlock seems to be right. advancing. Okay, you go for the herlock. Try and sunder his arms. You go for the other herlock. Try and pummel him. What? Yeah. Actually, looks like. Uh, right, fair enough. Just stab the hair like in the back there. Right, uh, Alistair's not doing very much. Stop. Oh, right, he's been stunned, I guess. Yo! That was easy enough. Okay, so... Health well. Passes is an Acid Flask. Not very much by way of loot. I mean... Edelstan's look, still looking for... A <laughs> for some freaking boots, you know? Maybe there's something in the crate. Nope, just some mushrooms. Great sword, that's not his. Oh! There's more of them, suddenly. What are these? Oh, that's probably the guys uh, right away. who were fighting the, the wolves a while ago. Right, let's just try and get a little bit of rest. Because those guys are unhurt. Anyway, yeah, and there's a bunch of dead wolves and stuff over there. Now remind me, what's... Don't we get rest before we leave combat, maybe? Right away. Means we need to pull back a little bit. As you wish. There we go. I just wait for a wee second and you should get healed up. Yeah. Just a little bit of resting. Because I really don't want to go into combat there compl with several members of my party badly hurt. Alright. There we go. And this time it's not going to be any fancy tactics or backstabbing or anything. It's just going to be plain frontal assault. Right everyone against the one herlock. And everyone against the archer. Let's make this quick. Considering we already dealt with, you know, uh bunch of them over there and they've been fighting wolves. This was easy enough. Um that's the last pile of Zox bomb of blood we need. Awesome. Cool. Oh now oh, we have an extra. I have one spare. Oh, what about those wolves? Can we like loot some wolf pelts and stuff? Maybe we can sell that back in the city. Uh nothing wrong with that, you know, is that that's called hunting, isn't it? Well actually in this case it's called looting. 
<laughs> what the dark spawn had hunted, but you know. That's not nitpick. Now what's this? Oh. Oh my. Dead missionary. Dead god. Oh. And this is an interesting uh position of course for our our nice guy because he doesn't want to loot the dead, but it does want to investigate, sort of inspect what's going on. Any chance we can sort of just look at his body without taking everything he's got? Yeah, we can. Rigby's last will and testament. Well, it does seem a shame to just leave him with his last will and testament. We can see if we can maybe fulfill it. And that starts a new quest. Found the last one and take it by some blah blah blah. So cash mention in the will and take it to Jetta in Red Cliff. Oh yeah, hang on. Um This is maybe under No, not under characters. Quest related. Presumably really Right, to have a, this is the, what, what we found. I mean, I don't he uh, read most of the, uh, like on the herlocks and info on the Mubari Warhounds and the Wolves. You can just read that yourself. But I will take a look at uh, this because basically what would happen is, I guess, that uh, Edelstein would sit down and read this Lost Whistle and Testament. Which is addressed to whoever fights, finds this note, which I guess is me. This is the last will and testament of Rigby the missionary, proud speaker of the Maker's word. I have come to the wild to speak to the chant, to speak the chant, but I fear I will die here at the hands of the darkspawn. I leave all that I came with to my wife Jetta. Should the reader of this note feel charitable, I have buried a sealed lockbox in our camp, nestled in a Tavinter ruin in the western reaches of the wild. It's my will that this lockbox finds my wife in Red Cliff and that it's still sealed shut when it reaches her. To my wife and son, I apologize that my work has taken me from you, but I know that I die in that service to the maker. Well, if we do f come upon a sealed lockbox and it's a winter ruin in the western reaches of the world, then I son will want to find that and return it to Jetta. Um, wherever she is. Red Cliff, right. Redcliff. Uh would this be the Very well. No. Who does this belong to then? I don't know. It's a pair of boots though, which would you know, that interests uh Edelstone a lot. He can't wear them though, because he does he's not strong enough. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just not strong enough to carry a pair of heavy boots, is he? 16 strength, that means way below that, isn't he? Jory, what's... Oh yeah, Jory's still indomitable, that's why he's got this these stars floating all around him. Um... Oh! Right, so strength of 13, he would need to invest everything in his next level up in strength and not be able to just w wear those boots. Alright, well, it's. I mean, would he even pick them up? I mean, he, he was basically looking into this chest because he thought uh, maybe that was the was supposed to be returned to Jetta, but there was no sealed strong box in there, it was just a chest. That's peculiar. So would he put it back in the chest? More likely he would reason that actually he should probably take that back to Redcliffe just in case, uh, even if there was no strong a locked strongbox, it might have belonged to 
Mr. What's his name? Um, Rigby. And so in that case, uh, it's kind of the property of Jetta. Could also. Well, this guy's got boots on him, so it's probably not his. So does Rigby, though. So somebody carry the spare boot, pair of boots. Well, it's always nice to have that a spare pair of boots in the wilderness, I guess. And it's hard to know which one of them. Rigby's widow would probably know, though, so she would be the one to talk to ask about it. So yeah, we'll carry it. We won't wear it. It's not. We can't even because <laughs> Edelstone's not strong enough. And then we'll keep. Uh, Search them in the Korkari worlds because we've found um, we've found the Darkspawn blood, but we also need the Grey Warden treaties before we can return to Duncan. So we still have some more exploration to do round about here. Oh, what was that? That sounded like walls. I think it's time to for the scouts to scout ahead again. The rogues, that is. Oh, really? There was an enemy rogue. <laughs> the dark spawn can sneak as, as well as us, apparently. All right. Scrap the whole position and just everybody get this guy. There's another one in there. Well, they were brave but foolish. So, Alistair. I want to have a little word with you, Alistair. Didn't you say you would guarantee us that they would not find us, you know, unprepared? That you could sense them, could you, Alistair? We still need to find those documents, if they're even here. Yeah, well, you've been proved really useful at being able to find the dog spawn so f so far. Maybe you could help us find the documents at least. You don't even sound very, very optimistic, and uh, when it comes to that, great wardens, great schmordens. They can't see you. They can't kill you. I'm the quiet one. All right. We might as well try and scout ahead then and uh, explore further in the next video. Until then, go in peace and live and let live.